Hey guys, I'm out here in uh, western Alberta. We're going to be doing a seven day sheep hunt. Uh, it's going to be hiking in with packs. Came down here a few days early before Ralph gets here because I wanted to scout out one of the mountains that I had uh, that I'd found. Looked okay on Google Earth, but it doesn't really seem like there's much going on. So I'm going to head out of here and uh, go to the spot that we're at last year and then I'm gonna be meeting up with Ralph there tomorrow and then uh, on the 24th we're gonna be hiking in. Yeah, August Friday, August 23rd, heading in to meet Manny in the mountains. So I'm coming in late. Had a little issue getting set up, leaving uh, Lloyd Minster a lot later than I wanted to because I actually turned back and get stuff because I God. We head in in the morning to go to our spot, so should be fun. Find out uh, tomorrow just how much luck or unluck we get with weather, and uh, yeah, just kind of go from there. So stay tuned. So what'd you forget, Ralph? Oh, I forgot the water blotter. You know, camel pack. It was about an hour into my drive and then had to make a detour and go back for it because I was not going to buy another one. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy every moment and see what we can see and take it all in. I am mentally and physically done. Twisted my knee today. Real bad coming down the hill. there two years ago and when I was here scouting the other day I seen five sheep just going across there it's too far to tell though if they're illegal or not and those rocky mountains all the way in the back is where we're gonna be hiking to we're actually gonna be kind of going around the corner there I couldn't see on the other side, I couldn't get an accurate count. There's a few young rams kicking around. Yeah, like I, I saw nuts on one of them. Like, yeah. Yeah, like just little, a like year and a half. Yeah, there was, there was two, they were probably four years old, just on the other side of the saddle. Okay. Last year. But even this year, they won't be big enough. Yeah, they won't be. Give, give them a couple more years yet. No. Is it a, like normally a goat rodeo back in there? Like with guys all over the place or? You're actually the first time I've seen anyone back here hunting. Sweet. Well, that's good news. Yep, can't feel my feet. <laughs> Already went five kilometers.
making pretty good time though. Oh Jesus. Gonna take a little break here. Have a bite to eat. And it looks like there's some rain coming in here, so we'll probably have to get our rain gear on. We're about halfway now. Mosquitoes are nuts. It's one o'clock, so we're making pretty good time. Pretty well same distance Michael and I did. But we got here a lot later last time. We got pretty lucky though, finding this. A outfitter camp or something. We got water here, that's good couple grassy knolls that we can check out and tomorrow we'll keep going I might still try to gain some elevation here just so I can have a look took the ranger in for 10 and then hiked in here about 11 how do you feel? Done. Pretty beat. Oh. Get camp set up here for the night. Have something to eat. Well, I was just looking just up there in that saddle and there was four rams up there and we got one legal one but it's about two kilometers away it's way up there I got a decision to make now whether I'm gonna go after tomorrow or stick to our original plan and go up this mountain here behind us I'll have to sleep on it Good sign though. Day before opener. Come have a seat here, Ralph. Oh. Oh. This is journal entry seven. Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> so last night uh seen few rams just over that way but it's, it's too far we'll save it as a last resort we're gonna head up up this way this morning there's a few bowls that we can look down into just finishing up breakfast and we'll get going how you feeling sore slept okay he had a nightmare it was great <laughs> fucking scared the, I, scared the crap out of me I was laying in my tent awake I don't know what time it was it must have been like one in the morning or something I'm laying there awake and I must have fell asleep and instantly I started having a dream that I was laying in my tent awake and there was a bear pressing his nose up against the tent and apparently I mumbled and grumbled woke up Ralph and then I started screaming sort of should I shoot should I shoot and I just yelled Manny are you okay and then he just kind of woke, came to and woke up. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, you're dreaming? I had a nightmare. 
All right, cool. So anyway, first uh, first night was eventful. It's opening day, so let's get to it. Looking at a grizzly bear over there on that uh, grassy knoll. Big sow. She's got a cub with her. Distance? I'd say a kilometer. A bit. Camps right down there, and we came up that ridge and over along here. Scouted all in there, and there's a big grizzly right there. Hopefully, we're safe on the other side. yesterday just to double check everything and I think our plan today is just to hike skyline all the way down to the end it's about five kilometers and there's another bowl down there we haven't checked so I'm gonna go have a look in there finish my coffee and then we'll get going when you're on the mountain hygiene is number one What do you see? Rocks. How many rocks? Lots of rocks. Any bighorn rocks? Lots of bighorn rocks. Lots of trails. take this moment here to say how nice it is to have a little bit of peanut butter out here in my pack out lunch my pad thai came with some peanut butter obviously I squeezed out as much as I could for the lunch but um, 
there's still a little bit left in the packet and I squeezed every little bit out of it and it was delicious. <laughs> so here's the hoping we see a sheep today. Find out, saw a billy goat so far, way, way, way out there. But um, Manny's still, still looking, hoping he can see something. So far it's been pretty quiet and we're in an area right now uh, from that earlier video where you can see like I think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different bulls, uh, mountain bulls, and um, a bunch of different little saddles between the mountains and nothing, not one sheep. And uh, plenty of sign, tracks everywhere, trails that go up and down the mountains, but not, uh, not a single one, so. Hopefully we have some luck later on today, but uh, yeah. Aren't the flowers so pretty up here? Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Would you just look at that? So what did we see today? Trees, <laughs> more rocks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Last year we counted thirty. It's a lot of use. Oh, well, just getting packed up now. We're gonna head south about five kilometers. Set up camp down there pretty much glassed this whole ridge there looking in on both sides doesn't seem like there's much going on and there's also four other guys up that way apparently there were shots last night so we want to get away from that we're just gonna head this way we uh, we glassed that way last night seen a bunch of ewes and there's also a legal ram that was headed that way two days ago so we're hoping to catch up to them. I guess we'll put our crocs on here now or not So we just got in here, set up this new camp in the middle of building the fire pit, having some lunch, and uh, and we're gonna head up there after we have a bite to eat, do some glassing before it's dark. Say anything? Shh, the lambs are sleeping. They do not care that we're here. <laughs> it's awesome. There. So just above us over here. It's a little hard from reverse, but there's a bunch of lambs and ewes. And I'm gonna go take some shots of them, just cause they don't care that we're here. And there's some little young ones in there and they're pretty cute. And to put it in perspective, where they are, <laughs> they're right up there. So, and in other news, Manny and I, let's see if I can get this to do that. That peak, right there. We climbed on top of that all along. Just get everything back that way. 
didn't see anything. Two really nice rams. Way at the end there. But got for time. Two hours. Two hours. He's like almost full curl. Let's get him in the morning. shoot try to bed them or see which direction they're heading and first thing in the morning we'll just head straight up that hill and get after them can we just like turn back the time now so we have like four hours to get over there isn't this what sheep hunting's all about i am not gonna sleep tonight <laughs> at least you're on bear watch funny because like not 10 minutes ago I was like I never see sheep on this side and this side and now there's two shooter rams over there one looks like a but they went down to that knoll now so let's pack up and camp see if we can see them from down there So we we're up top there, just had some lunch, and then uh, we we're looking around for those rams that we seen last night. And we got out to the point up here and looked down. We seen the two rams bedded. Uh, it was about 550 yards, but the wind was, was blowing pretty bad. So we came down, tried to get closer, but uh, some rocks slipped out when we we're heading down. That might have spooked them. And they just took off and over the next mountain. But that's sheep hunting, I guess. Now we got quite the trek to get back to camp. Not looking forward to it, but we'll get her done. Alrighty, quick uh, update to what's happening here. Yep, we are packing up. This has been uh, there we go, an eventful sheep hunt. I am mentally and physically done. Twisted my knee today. Real bad coming down the hill. So, and after the poor luck we had with the sheep today, um, we're just gonna head back to the trucks and that's it. So, pack up and get going and hopefully be out of here in about half an hour and be at the trucks for just when it gets dark. Okay, Manny, we're doing 20 kilometers an hour and it feels like we're flying. And oh my god, does it feel good to sit in a cushion seat. Oh. So we've been at it for five days now. This is day five. Everything hurts. Shoulders hurt, feet hurt, knees hurt. Especially my one knee, it's totally just right messed up. Man, he's just doing 20 kilometers an hour, and I can't believe how fast this feels right now. And just to sit down after, I think we've hiked, I want to say over 100 kilometers in those five days now. I would, we've hiked 100 kilometers. It feels so good to be sitting down right now. Packs off our backs. It's just an unreal feeling. This is my first sheep hunt. Manny's fourth, we came real close. 
but there's always next year. And you know what? Each year we get closer and closer. So, good job, Andy. Good job for me for not dying. I'll take it at that. <laughs> oh my God. My truck smells amazing. Have you seen the eyes of Pan? Have you heard the cry of pain? 